Hey y'all, today from the coop, me and Verlee are going to share a children's story with y'all that somebody reminded me of a couple weeks ago and when I found the book, I got so excited. But y'all know that I love children's books that are the antique, vintage, old stories. This one was published in 1945 and this is going to bring back a lot of memories to a lot of people. This is a charming, charming Southern folktale that was written by Carolyn Sherwin Bailey and it was illustrated by Dorothy Greider. I love this book. This is a great story that teaches people to be themselves. Be the person that God made you to be. But we hope that you enjoy this book and um, this is for you Denise and thank you so much for reminding me of it. We hope you enjoy this story. The Little Rabbit Who Wanted Red Wings. Oh, no. <laughs> the Little Rabbit Who Wanted Red Wings, written by Carolyn Sherwin Bailey, illustrated by Dorothy Greider. Once upon a time, there was a little white rabbit with two beautiful pink ears and two bright red eyes and four soft little feet. Such a pretty little white rabbit, but he wasn't happy. Just think, this little white rabbit wanted to be somebody else instead of the nice little rabbit that he was. When Mr. Bushytail, the gray squirrel, went by, the little white rabbit would say to his mommy, Oh, mommy, I wish I had a long gray tail like Mr. Bushytail's. And when Mr. Porcupine went by, the little white rabbit would say to his mommy, Oh, mommy, I wish I had a back full of bristles like Mr. Porcupine's. And when Mrs. Puddle Duck went by in her two little red rubbers, the little white rabbit would say, Oh, Mommy, I wish I had a pair of red rubbers like Miss Puddle Ducks. So he went on wishing and wishing until his mommy was quite tired out with his wishing. One day, old Mr. Groundhog heard him wishing. Old Mr. Groundhog is very wise indeed. So he said to the little white rabbit, Why don't you go down to the wishing pond and if you look in the water at yourself, and turn around three times in a circle, you will get your wish. So the little white rabbit trotted off all alone by himself through the woods until he came to a little pool of green water lying in a low tree stump. And that was the wishing pond. There was a little, little bird all red sitting on the edge of the wishing pond to get a drink. And as soon as the little white rabbit saw him, he began to wish again. Oh, I wish I had a pair of little red wings, he said. Just then, he looked in the wishing pond and he saw his little white face. Then he turned around three times and something happened. He began to have a queer feeling in his shoulders, like he felt in his mouth when he was cutting teeth. It was his wings coming through. So he sat all day in the woods by the wishing pond waiting for them to grow. And by and by, when it was almost sundown, he started home to see his mommy and show her because he had a beautiful pair of long trailing red wings. But by the time he reached home, it was getting dark. And when he went to the hole at the foot of the big tree where he lived, his mommy didn't know him. No, she really and truly did not know him because, you see, she had never seen a rabbit with red wings in all her life. And so the little white rabbit had to go out again because his mommy wouldn't let him get into his own bed. He had to go out and look for some place to sleep all night. He went and went until he came to Mr. Bushytail's house and he rapped on the door and said, Please, kind Mr. Bushytail, may I sleep in your house all night? But Mr. Bushytail opened his door a crack, and then he slammed it tight shut again. You see, he had never seen a rabbit with red wings in all his life. 
So the little white rabbit went on and on until he came to Miss Puddle Duck's nest down by the marsh and he said, Please, kind Mrs. Puddle Duck, may I sleep in your nest all night? But Mrs. Puddle Duck poked her head up out of her nest just a little way and then she shut her eyes and stretched her wings out so far that she covered her whole nest and said, No, 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 go away. You see, she had never seen a rabbit with red wings in all her life. So the little white rabbit went on and on until he came to old Mr. Groundhog's hole. And old Mr. Groundhog let him sleep with him all night. But the hole had beech nuts spread all over it. Old Mr. Groundhog liked to sleep on them. But they hurt the little white rabbit and made him very uncomfortable before morning. When morning came, the little white rabbit decided to try his wings and fly a little. So he climbed up on a hill and spread his wings and sailed off. But he landed in a low brush all full of prickles and his four feet got mixed up with the twigs so he couldn't get down. Mommy, 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 come help me, he called. His mommy didn't hear him, but old Mr. Groundhog did and he came and helped the little white rabbit out of the prickly bush. Don't you want your red wings? Mr. Groundhog asked. No, no, said the little white rabbit. Well, said the old groundhog, why don't you go down to the wishing pond and wish them off again? So the little white rabbit went down to the wishing pond and he saw his face in it. Then he turned around three times and sure enough, his red wings were gone. Then he went home to his mommy, who knew him right away and was glad to see him. And the little white rabbit never, never again wished to be something different from what he really was. Music